Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising Weekly Tarot and Lenormand Reading for November 12th to November 18th, 2018 And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a general reading for Aquarius Star Sign and it is not your personal reading Therefore, uh, I will do my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you at the end to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And as uh, Christmas celebrations are looming on the horizon, uh, there is a Christmas sale going on which uh, concerns the 20-minute uh, uh, service. And basically as soon as you purchase 20-minute service, you are gifted with a um, one free uh, video recorded answer to a question you may have after, you know, you forgot, for example, to ask in the uh, in the reading, or uh, it appears to you somewhere further down the road in your future. So that being said, going to the tarot spread first. Now, the first card of the tarot spread uh, uh, marks the topic for Aquarius this month, and this is to be the Magician card. So uh, Aquarius is weak, excuse me. So the Magician card. This these are the first step uh, steps of one's initiation. That's why the topic here is going to be very. Um, dynamic for you Aquarius is. You need to have strong determination behind your actions. You need to really utilize your communicational skills to their maximum limits. Convince people in your vision. Convince people into your agenda. Make the people like you for who you are. That is very important when it comes to the Magician card. All right? And also this card asks you, uh, shows that you are to maintain and even expand your personal sovereignty here. Your personal grounds uh, you are likely as well to learn new skills throughout this particular week gather up resources gather up support as well I mean the magician is all about growth it's all about uh, you know uh, laying down the most stable foundation possible into one's undertaking kind of like exerting skills and exerting determination in one's agenda so that agenda can become true uh, following down the road uh, the magician card uh, it, it is very how can I place it? It is a very singular one. So you need to know that throughout this week, people truly are to admire you, to admire your readiness, to admire your determination as well, you know, and also your eagerness to jump into action and to make things happen. And uh, with everything that you do throughout this week, for what it seems magic is to happen, and magic what I mean is that... Uh, miraculously you will be able to pull things through and basically make the job done but what you need to be careful throughout the week is with this symbol here the symbol of the infinity which points to whatever you create throughout this week is to be indestructible so basically you will simply not be able to uh, withdraw from it you will not be able to back from it all right so you have to be very aware and, and very assured with oneself that what you are doing it is exactly what you want to do throughout this particular week the next card that we do have this is the core of the situation and now we are seeing you are following a dream of yours or a yearning of your soul because the devil card is about the hunger so this what tells us is that you are to follow a um a long time uh, lingering desire, kind of like a, a long uh, a long time from the past, you wanted to have this thing on your plate, that person or that project, you know, or that performance, etc, etc. So you can feel the exhilaration from it. And now throughout this week, this particular opportunity is given to you. So what the devil card points here is that you are to feed the yearnings of your soul very powerful card is the devil card because it basically gives you a, a strong amount of inertia strong amount of impulse and it's very important to channel that impulse 
directly into the undertaking or to the to the agenda that you are following now if you don't have any undertaking and any agenda i advise you here to make up one for yourself because otherwise the devil's energy becomes very destructive and you because you don't have a, a point a fulcrum to channel it uh you may start hurting people around you because you are too burst with that energy of, of, of one's soul. So this week is all about you feeding up your hunger by manifesting the very first steps of your dreams, of your desire here or of your uh, success into one's business or uh, let's say you know a, a flawless relationship that could be, that could be uh, down the road in your future. The next card that we do have, this is to be the predicaments, the, ch the, the challenges which are causing predicaments. And this is related to something much more distant in the past than uh, something rather recent. The Eight of Cups uh, is a card pointing that things cannot happen the, uh, the way... Um, they happened before, right? It's kind of like uh, uh, you may hope that the history is going to repeat itself, but that is not going to be the case in that specific point. So some of your efforts that have been carefully planned may turn out to be rather futile. But again, the magician is about learning and it is, it is about expanding one's skills. So it is very important here not to give up, but really find the, uh, the, the, the accurate performance that you need to exert so you can follow down that specific um, agenda in that specific uh, undertaking. The Eight of Cups is a card saying that even though the situation may be misfortunate at this particular moment, you know, I a new a new perspective or a new vision upon the matter is to emerge for you very very soon. And based on that vision, if you have diverted at that specific point from your path slightly, you know, you are to recognize that diversion and you are going to get back on track uh, very very fast. Now I cannot see this car really much as a predicament. It is a predicament as much as it goes with a certain disappointment that can uh, get you back on track. For example, if you just start dating with the person that you hope you are gonna date you know that is someone that really fits into your criteria and the best thing is that they like you for who you are you know and going down the road you become cocky and you do something really really stupid and you end up kind of disappointed but you are to recognize your uh, your stupid action all right or your misplaced action and uh, things are gonna get back into normal so it's kind of like you do have a uh, a room for mistake is what this card uh, points but um you should not get cocky you know because the mistake made the room may be only for a one mistake and the second could be crucial here so it's very important to learn your lessons very very fast and to learn from your for from your mistakes as well very very fast alternatively this card may point you know that the yearning of your soul uh, resides somewhere outside of your current uh current vision and you are to find it somewhere outside of it uh, throughout this week. Like, for example, if you want to start dating someone, these cards are saying that that will be someone outside of your social circle. If you, be, if you want to be lucrative into your uh, career direction, these cards may point that you are to be lucrative somewhere outside of your current job, you know. Uh, that is a, another way to interpret these cards. Again, this is a general reading and I'm trying to present you as much possibilities here and as much um, possible manifestation of those cards uh, 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 as possible. So, uh, literally, uh, this uh, this week for you, uh, Aquarius, this is a week where you should not slack, guys, but really kind of like dive into into action and start manifesting. That is what that week it's all about for you. And if you end up with nothing in your hands at the end of it, it is because uh, basically you hope that everything is to happen on its own accord and it is not what this is all about. And at the end we do have the uh, Princess of Cups or the Page of Cups. So uh, <clears throat> that card shows us that you uh, as a uh, uh, guidance that you should follow you always need to be ready to uh, for a changes it is what the car points that uh, um, <clears throat> the the most successful person is the person who can really add, um, wobble 
in uh, in positions so adopt one position then on the next thing who adopts another position you know an, an agile um, individual here uh, who can see where the wind see, the wind is blowing from the wind of change and align itself with the wind of change going with that current and thus uh, utilizing the maximum out of the change that it has happened and also the princess of cups here asks you to be more prone to the uh, to the end goal, kind of like the grand scheme of things, rather than to dive yourself into the minor details and finding yourself uh, kind of like uh, occupied with them, not having time to really um, lift up your hand, uh, lift up your head, and see what comes forward for you because this is a sign that there is a change looming and you need to adapt yourself as we see as we saw here accordingly to the change so it's kind of like taking a different standpoint so that was the tarot reading for your Aquarius and now let me shuffle the Lenormand cards and they are to show us a event that you should either look forward to or try to avoid second to shuffle them really well here kind of big cards it's it's rather uncomfortable to shuffle so let's see what we got so the first one that is the mice and the mice stands for problems uh, underlying problems you know predicaments and basically something isn't quite right the next one this is to be the birds the bird stands for phone call social media gossips and the last one that is to be the sun the sun stands for tremendous success big amounts of luck and uh, generally that's that and a lot of happiness so what we do have is that through a phone call social me social media or a, a gossips some of your uh, achievements are to be disputed are to, or are to be diminished by results um, you know for example you may have achieved a great success into a certain project and someone starts spreading up a gossip that you did that with a fraudulent schemes and actually or it was not you but someone else but yet you are uh, making yourself accountable for that achievement that could be a, a gossip that really could uh, under um, underlay it's kind of like swipe off uh, the ground your uh, integrity because the magician is again integrity sovereignty and it could really damage your reputation so it's very important when it comes to that to really sap and intercept those um, those gossips as soon as they start emerging so they don't escalate um, kind of to a point where it's going to be quite overwhelming for you to deal with them so that being said, uh, Aquarius, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for November 12th to November 18th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, again, this was just a general reading for Aquarius' star sign, and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, I did my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but at the end, forced to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading, and for personal readings, please please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings and if you do so don't forget about the um, Christmas sale which concerns the 20 minute live reading that being said Rod signing out now see you next time bye